And they had to check out olives today. Olives? No. <coughs> olive, olive leaf extract is an alternative in case they don't fruit. This company I didn't say olive. olive. You're right, I did say olive. Yeah, you did say olive. Uh, this, this company uh, wants to uh, make a presence in the United States. Why, why don't they come to us? I mean, why, are, why are we going over there? I don't they, understand. They've that. been here. Oh, they're, they're already here. Three or four trips here. It, most of their manufacturing operations are in India. So, you know, if we were going to do something or move forward with them, it would be a it would be a vetting trip to go see their current operations and what their processes are. See if it would be an appropriate fit for Harvey County. Yeah. Because this this olive thing and this research thing that you were talking about before, uh, I, I looked at a lot of alternative uh, crops to citrus. <clears throat> and if we start investing in research, it's a long term thing. It's not this year, next year, the year after, 10, 12, 15 years. You know, researchers, that's what they do. They don't research and then stop. That's their life. And they've been researching things like pomegranates and uh, blueberries, peaches, macadamia nuts. There's already a presence of those here. Olives are on the ground floor just starting. So if we invest in this, our money, it's going to be long term and millions of dollars over the years. It's not a win-win. IFAS is already researching it. We have nothing to gain by using our land and our money to research olives. And I don't think we got much to gain by sending a group to India to look at their operation. I mean, you don't need to go there to know it. You can do, you can do that here. I mean, I just think it's throwing money into the wind. But we seem to do a lot of that.